I've been co-owner of an algae oil startup now for three years, and I keep running into the same question. Algae oil, well, how's that compare to traditional oil? To me, that's a loaded question, because today's oil is algae oil. The oil you and I burn in our engines was at one point a simple plant cell. It's known to have been on our planet for over 3.5 billion years. At one point, it was the first life form to exist, and at that time, it was the most advanced organism on the planet. This is the city of Signal Hill where our company is founded. This coastal region has produced millions of barrels of oil over the last century. This region was once so oil saturated, you could tap into reservoirs and the crude oil would bubble to the top without the aid of pumps or oil derricks. We knew this planet was spread with algae from this prehistoric algae bloom the entire globe over. It grew in dense formations along the South America volcanic coastline. And there's belief that there's a deep, vast oil potential beneath our North Pole that grew there when our planet had no prevalent ice cap. And it's a good thing this oil grew everywhere. Everyone uses it. Our industrial engines require it. The global appetite for this resource grows every year. And to be quite honest, which resource? Algae. We have this plant cell to thank not only for our oil, but our atmosphere. In the Protozoic Aeon, our world ocean, which consumed only CO2 and sunlight, created an unneeded byproduct, oxygen. Thanks, algae. With our increased CO2 reaching record levels, algae bloom is starting to spread to the point where we're able to see entire oceans being spread with this planetary organism, and we're able to see it from space. So when you think of where oil comes from, or the topic of alternative energies comes up, always remember that today's oil was also a plant. It just grew a long time ago. Now that Eric's talked about where oil comes from, I'm gonna talk a little bit about where oil comes from. This is a slide of the current petroleum cycle. It illustrates all the steps that oil goes through to get from the ground to your gas tank. There's an oil droplet on several of the steps. These are steps that actually require oil to be burned just to get to your tank. Now, oil typically starts off in far off places, requiring massive efforts to transport, process, and distribute. All of these um, steps have their risks associated with them, but today we're gonna be focusing on the inefficiency and the cost of this process. Any new fuel is gonna need a similar infrastructure to be created to be able to distribute its fuel. Now, for, for pipelines, there's over 150,000 miles of petroleum pipeline in the US today. That means, based on the construction cost of the proposed Keystone XL pipeline at $7 billion for 2,000 miles of pipeline, a new fuel would need a half a trillion dollar investment in pipelines alone for distribution. And pipelines aren't even on this chart. This traditional production method starts with a centralized refinery, which trucks its product out to commercial fueling stations. Now, with well over 100,000 gas stations in the U.S. right now, even this local infrastructure would take time and a fortune to replicate. For new fuel to be able to take hold in the market, we must think about production and distribution in a new way. We've seen where the old way has gotten us. Here at SNT, we think we found a better way. This is a flow chart of the method we use to create algae biodiesel. Now again, we've placed a droplet of oil next to all the steps in this process which require oil to be burned to get it into your tank. You can see it there next to the truck at the end. Now in this process, each business or home could have its own supply of fuel. Now the key to this technology is the energy conversion machine there in the middle, but we start with the most abundant source of energy on the planet, the sun. Now the ECM has been designed to use any kind of renewable energy input but in Southern California, our prototypes use solar power. The main idea here is to use a form of renewable energy that only occupies unused space, such as a roof. Now, the key to this process is the energy conversion machine, and it does exactly what it says it does. It converts energy from one form into another, sunlight into biodiesel. The stackable nature of the machine makes it easy to be produced in any size. The size and the cost will depend on the consumer's need. Now the secret to the biodiesel itself is the algae. There are 30,000 strains of algae to choose from. The right one will replicate very rapidly, some double several times a day, and it will also have a high lipid cell or oil content. Once the oil is freed from the algal cell, 
It's basically ready for use in your favorite diesel vehicle. This new production method, distributed production, enables the consumer to adopt the use of renewable, eco-friendly fuel on their own timeline, whether the reason for doing so be monetary, regulatory, or ethical. By eliminating the need for massive, costly infrastructure, SNT's ECM technology enables the consumer to take control of their energy destiny. We have one of our prototypes over in the Innovation Lounge. Feel free to come by and see us. Thank you. Thank you.